G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Militia Rifle. So this thing right here is a standalone, highly customizable weapon that follows in the footsteps of the uh, pipe rifles there. And the modern law reasons behind this is basically um, uh, companies like the Gun Runners are going ahead and mass producing weapons because they're seeing the pipe rifles being unreliable and unfit for combat. So they're making these crude but more reliable militia type weapons to sell. Anyways, getting into the attachments, just like the pipe, pistol, or rifle, whatever you, you want to give it. Um, yeah, you've got a whole bunch of customization options here, so we'll go for the rear weight receiver there, so we get the best damage out of it. And for the barrels, we'll definitely go for the long one for better recoil and also range. Now for the stocks, you've got three types of stocks, you've got the solo, the standard, and the taped. Um, and each of these three variants has three sub-variants. So you've got the pistol grip, which holds it out in front of you like a pistol, and the SMG grip, and the uh, st uh, rifle grip, I'll just say. Um, yeah, that actually he gets held in two hands, but with the SMG grip, you don't actually have the stock along with it, so that's kind of nice. You don't get that weapon, uh, you don't get that effect with the pipe pistols in the game, so that's kind of good. We'll go for a solid stock there, because I believe that looks the best. And for the magazines, we'll definitely want to chuck in the 60 round drum mag, which, um, yeah, I don't know how you're going to shove uh, 60 rounds in that, but we'll go along with it. For the sights, we'll give this one a short scope there, and we'll have this be sort of our long range sniper, quote unquote, weapon. Um, it's not actually a sniper, don't get mad at me. Alright, so for this one, this is a muzzle, we get a compensator, which I believe is from the combat shotgun no 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 all of these mods here are custom assets so yeah everything is great also the speculars are extremely high this is why it's so shiny so that's kind of good and of course we've got a legendary effect if we need it but we won't do any such thing we'll go ahead and grab another one make it automatic and we'll test these things in gunners plaza all right so here we are in gunners plaza this is what the militia rifle looks like in first person obviously since it's using the um pipe rifle animations you've got the hand grip up there for some reason and yeah normally under circumstances that you wouldn't have your fov tuned up you wouldn't be able to see the hand there but that's meant to be a pistol grip in a third person it seems right but yeah that's a little bit of an oversight on Bethesda's part there, not on the fault of the modders at all. Anyways, we've got this thing with a short scope here, and that is a really small short scope. That is actually the times 2 scope, I believe, so interesting. So this thing is going to be more of a close range precision type weapon. So with the 308 receiver and the 60 round mag, we don't actually lose any of the bullets in this thing, which is kind of weird. Um, okay, we're just managing to... I th What's happening? Has this thing got the same problem as the uh, thing? Has chambering it for 308s actually broken the thing? I don't think it has, but I saw some of the signs of this happening, so maybe it's not a glitch on whoever, um, on JK Ruse's part, which, uh, who was the producer of that mod, might just be a fallout thing that someone needs to tweak. But, anyways, now we are definitely in. Um, danger now the turret saw us and now it is time to get nice and close and just spray them down with a little bit of hip fire there this thing is hitting them quite hard enough that i'm not too worried about doing this and the rate of fire is good enough to help that out even though i've got a um i didn't need, didn't mean to do that so like, even though i've got a uh, regular one uh, with the automatic effect on it so uh yeah it's probably a better idea to grab that for close quarters but there you go with uh push through the first lot of gunners pretty easily. This thing with the sneak attack criticals is obviously doing a good job there. Just get rid of that gunner, almost clocking 1k damage, and we'll switch over to our short barreled automatic one with the red dot sight as soon as it loads. Thank you, game. And let's get into killing some of these gunners. Now, the reticule there is pretty cool. That's not anything we've seen in the game. And as well as the sight housing on top of that looks really good. I think everything about this weapon is brilliant. It takes um, a cool concept from of the sort of pipe rifle from the vanilla game and sort of expands upon it in a more sort of conventional fashion. This thing looks a little bit better in your hands than a crappy old pipe rifle does. So yeah, I really like this weapon and its general idea. So we'll just go ahead and spray that gunner down. I'm not sure why she stopped shooting at me to go loot a chest or something. Maybe she was looking for a better weapon. 
Too bad she couldn't find a better weapon because now she's dead along with that one. Also, these gunners have um, got a bunch of legendaries on them only because um, I've killed them as a legendary before. They've dropped the gun, but for some reason the uh, legendary loot stays on whichever NPC the game spawned on, so that is why they're dropping multiple things. I don't believe there is a mod that allows uh, NPCs or legendary enemies to drop more than one thing, but that's a little bit of an interesting tidbit there. Anyways, with the sneak attack criticals in the automatic, you can see this thing drops all of the gunners in a few shots, and this thing right here is firing the 556 five, rounds, that is the most damage you can get out of this thing in an automatic platform, and you still get all of the benefits of the 60 rounds in the mag there, which is kind of nice. Um, it'd make more sense if you have a, l a little bit less of ammo capacity if you shoved in the bigger bullets into it, but I guess that is probably to balance out the, uh, or just to give the uh, eight round mag more of a uh, use because if you have you these bullets shoving or halving your ammo capacity you can only hold about four bullets in that and uh, same goes for the 308s and that would not be practical at all anyways let's go into super mutant town and kill some bloody super mutants okay into super mutant town and let's see how far we can push this pipe rifle type weapon to deal with these super mutants so the key to this engagement being nice and quick is obviously staying hidden so we'll try and do that to the best of our ability there but for some reason some of the bullets just aren't making it out of the barrel so that's kind of annoying hopefully it is not the same sort of glitch that happens with the uh, uh, the the weapon that I looked at before sorry I forget the name but um I'm pretty sure all of you know what I'm talking about if you've seen me in the past. Anyways, knock that super mutant down with sniper effect, which confirms that works with it. So that is incredibly useful there. So down that one goes, and we'll go ahead and hit his mate instead. Okay, now we are definitely not in hidden anymore, so we'll just pop a few crits in his face. And yeah, we're doing uh, pretty good damage on the crits there. Gotta remember these guys have in excess of a thousand hit points, so any crit that can halve the um, health of them, or at least put it into a third, is probably going to be a good weapon. So in terms of the uh, game sort of level and balance of the thing, this thing is actually punching above the weight of the uh, pipe rifles in the game, which makes sense, obviously, because uh, it's in a pretty much Mark II pipe rifle type weapon, which is good. And it's a pretty cool weapon system, although yeah, maybe it could have been expanded upon. Um, obviously, there was like uh, there was concept art of like pipe shotguns that uh, I think made it into the game in the form of the Creation Club things. But that definitely would have been better if I, you know, if we got to see that in the game, and therefore we could have the uh, regular sort of uh, double-barreled shotgun being more of a high-tier weapon than your bloody uh, one that it is in the game because. Other than having the uh, few specific effects on it, it is pretty much outclassed in every way by the uh, combat shotgun, which uh, makes the shotguns in the game pretty boring if you don't count the energy ones in the form of the laser rifle and institute rifle with the beam splitters on. <laughs> Making them automatic with wounding is fun. That's something all people should try. And also, what is that helmet you're wearing? Where do the, where do the super mutants get these from? Okay, but he's dead anyway. We are in danger now, so obviously these super mutants are going to take ages to kill. So we'll just run right up close to them and see if we can fill their faces up with 5.56s. Getting 88 damage on them, which is oh, alright, I suppose. I'd like this thing to be hitting a little bit harder, but since we're playing on very hard difficulty, it's a little bit hard to do very good damage with a sort of a mid to low tier type weapon against end game super mutants, because obviously you've got that bloody 50% damage penalty, and that is the way Bethesda does difficulties, which is pretty much the worst way you could do it. Having the player do less damage, but and take more is one of the laziest ways you could possibly do damage but then again there's probably not a lot else you could do that wouldn't sort of break the game anyway or and sort of coding wise maybe enemies are a little bit less accurate in the lower difficulties but that sounds like a huge pain in the ass that Bethesda during their um, mod or the development of this game probably didn't have time for 
I mean, they were too busy screwing up the law, and maybe someone chuckled at that sort of joke, but okay, this thing, obviously, it needs to be hitting harder to take out these super mutants, so unfortunately, getting spotted there has completely slowed down this run in, um, in this uh, Fallon's department store, so unfortunate, but uh, maybe I should actually turn the legendary uh, mod off because the bulk of these guys being super mutants is probably a little bit ridiculous and it's not realistic to what you'd actually see in the game. Anyways, these doggos have spawned and with a 600 shot there with a the sneak attack crit and a couple of more shots to that doggo, we are clear in Felon department store. And yeah, this thing, it, it's good enough to survive or kill these super mutants, but not in a timely manner. I was sitting there shooting these guys for a long time and it wasn't all of that fun. Um, I believe this thing's probably not the best thing for the end game, seeing it is a pipe thing. But yeah, we'll move on to Swan now and see if we can't push it a little bit further. Let's get stuck into Swan with our militia rifle and we'll go straight over to the automatic. Just kidding, we want to make this thing go quickly and we'll use the sniper effect on the, autom uh, the semi-automatic variant of this and we'll get rid of him real quickly with that. He's gone ahead and mutated already and we're hitting him for about 500 to 600 a piece as we do and we've got 60 rounds in the mag so apart from this screen this jarring screen shake every time I shoot the thing this thing has gone pretty well here and again getting the sneak to oh nice doing the splits there that actually hurt just watching that but yeah this thing obviously with the sneak attack criticals can easily dispatch any foes but if you're running into it Enemies that are a little bit too strong for it. Basically, all the people in Gunners Plaza and Fallon's department store. This thing is probably going to let you down a little bit. And the only reason we're able to win those easily is because we just out-tanked them. Because Fallout 4 kind of breaks after you get to a certain level. But there you have it. That was the Militia Rifle playing on lots of difficulties and using this thing at an earlier level to destroy earlier level foes. Will probably do you a lot more fun. And yeah, a lot more enjoyment out of the weapon mod itself. So if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description. There shall be a link down there as always. I think that is everything. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. It's time for me to drink some bloody Bundy. See you around.